LG sponsored this episode with the 55, 65 and the 77 inch television. And you know it got us thinking, do I need a dedicated cinema room to accommodate my field of view with a TV like this? It's magnificent. That's what we're finding out in this particular episode. How do I find the perfect TV match for your living room space? I'm your host, Peter Ngigi. Welcome to the show. So, nobody at LG told you that you're supposed to be three feet away from the screen, even though the backlight is not there with the LG OLED television. Nobody said that. So what you should do with this particular television is get a personal field of view that accommodates you. I like this. It's a bit black right now, but there we are. I like this. If I was a gamer, this is what I'd be using to just play my PlayStation and just watch that. Or come over here, which is really good. So guys, what we want to talk about are the hacks to getting a very good television set. So this episode is dubbed getting the perfect television match for your space. That's what we're going to be looking at with this particular episode. And there are a number of things that you need to know. Number one, always make sure you buy something that you do need. Don't buy anything that you do not need. What do I mean by that? You know, televisions come out every year, so you want to make sure that you get a television. If you can afford it, make sure it's the latest television. But a hack to this is get last year's model, so it's less expensive because you could have a television similar to this that's probably $3,000, $4,000, and in the following year, you could get it at a lesser price. But if you can afford a brand new up-to-date television, by all means, go ahead and do so. Now, another hack that you can get to do is get a 4K television. The reason why we say this is because this television is future proof. What do I mean by future proof? In that the technological advancements and the way people are filming television is probably not going to change for a couple of years. So if you get a 4K television, you're good to go with that. Now, last but not least, Remember, we're doing the OLED LG television. They've got a magnificent campaign at the junction or at Side Center or at any brand shop. You could get a very good discount for this television. Or also you could go on Black Friday to get some deals on your sound bars or on your television sets or any other item to complement your television set. Now, secondly, size how do you measure the size for your television now size does matter you could go online you could get a couple of uh, online calculators for your television stand for the 55 for the 65 for the 77 for the 86 whichever seems fit or deems fit you could go online and just get that information but thirdly if you want to get a more appropriate measure for your television set you want to know the distance now what you need to do is this. If this TV is a 65, first of all, let's find out if the guys at LG gave us a 65 inch TV. You want to measure, the rule of thumb is measure your television set diagonally. So if this is a 65 inch TV, what we'll do is we'll just place it there and stretch it a bit just to see where we are at and this is uh, exactly 65 inches so that's how you get to know your length of your television and if you want to know the appropriate field of view when watching your television the rule of thumb is to one and a half times what you've just measured the diagonal distance for so if we have 65 we'll probably add about 32.5 to make it about 90 or 100 inches and we're at an appropriate size. Now, let me just roll this up. Sorry, I know it's making a bit of noise. Now, we're at Olelua Ridge here in Karen for this particular space, Nasserian Villas, and they were kind enough to give us a stage for this particular living room space. So this seems to be appropriate. You could put your furniture there and have your television set, which is magnifique. Now, as a rule of thumb, if I was to close this episode, by the way, putting your television on top of your fireplace is such a monstrosity. If you, if we were to end this episode right now, let's just do that because that's the best advice I could probably give you. 
do not put your television set on top of the fireplace you want to be at eye level which brings us to our next point which is appearance in terms of comfort and where to have your television if you are to sit down over here what you want is to be at eye line level right to the center of the screen so that it's comfortable to just watch and you don't strain when you're watching your television set so always ask to note depending on the members of the family ensure that eye level is right at the center of the screen now guys that's about it this particular episode we're looking at the perfect match for your television space and that's what we're looking at and that's what we're going to demystify a bit further with the technical expert we had william last week so he's going to tell us a little bit more about that now we're going to a short commercial break. When we're back, we've got William. Stay tuned. Now, welcome back from the commercial break. We're looking at the perfect TV match for your space. And we've got William here once again to tell us about this. How are you doing, yes, William? Yes, good, good. Once again, nice seems like every you. Sunday. Ah, every Sunday. Good, 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 good. <laughs> Daily come gazette. Many people have been asking about you, so we had to have you to just explain a number of things here and here. First of all, does size matter? Size matters in all aspects. <laughs> But since we are talking about yeah. TVs, we have to say that, yeah, there are a lot of factors to consider, but uh, at the end, yeah, yeah, size does matter because um, we don't know, like, I usually tell people, like, all living rooms are different. Mm -hmm. Like, your living space mm -hmm. is different from my living space. Mm -hmm. Even if we live in, like, the same house design, mm -hmm. I'm sure the spaces are different. Mm -hmm. So, size, uh, it's good to check on the size that you want. But we're not pushing sizes to people. That's not their agenda. Yes, that's not their agenda. And uh, I think you had shown people how to calculate their just sizes. Just a bit, the, the not distance. as well as you will tell us, but uh -huh. just a bit, just a bit, yes. <laughs> yeah, but okay, that, that's enough. That's yeah. enough for you, for us to understand, because it's basically more or less the same concept. More or less the same concept. Yes. What about the environment? Does that matter? In terms of the acoustics, you know, you're saying that this t television is an artificial intelligent television. Does that matter? Yes, so basically uh, what I usually like about a TV is, you know, <clears throat> most, of, most of our living spaces or TV rooms, TV rooms are usually the focal points. It's usually the focal point of any living space, be it a bedroom, be it a living room, be it a cinema room, it is the focal point. So there are a lot of factors to consider on the environment as to where you're placing the TV. So first, like you mentioned, like, one of the basics I usually tell people, and you will find most, it happens to most people, is first, identify where the socket is. Yes, because you it might find, obvious, it, it sounds obvious, but yeah. most people are like, in the, if this is my space, I will be putting the TV here. Mm -hmm. But the day, let's say you move in or you go and then you find Allah, mm -hmm. there is no socket here. So that should be the first thing to first. identify where the socket is. Okay. And then in terms of uh, watching, like you had mentioned to guys like at eye level, mm -hmm. So basically, at eye level, where you're most comfortable at, mm -hmm. and it should be about uh, between two meters and four meters from the floor. You know, William, Yes. the guys who put TVs on top of fireplaces. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my goodness. Please never ever put your television set on top of your fireplace. Come on. You witness yes. that a lot. And yes. I know and when most people, even most people, when they mount TVs, yes. they like, mount them higher yeah. up the yeah. wall and yeah. uh, I, I don't know I, I don't want to say where most people find those TVs placed where they frequent but <laughs> oh it's, 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 it's out, out of where they frequent yeah it's out of where they frequent so they're used to TVs being up yeah. there but if it's your if it's your space mm -hmm. just make it about two three meters comfortable, comfortable mm -hmm. so that you don't also strain your neck and you don't strain your eyes okay. the other thing also to consider is mm -hmm. the light the source of light in your in your in your space so is it natural light uh, like windows how windows you are like in this space of ours uh, why were you able to show the guys uh, the space looks awesome uh, the, the, the the light in this, in this it's house. magnificent guys this is nicerian villiards at karen olelua ridge 
magnificent you should come check out these villas it's really good yes yeah, so yes. the lighting you should you should be able to consider mm -hmm. uh, because most of the time TVs they suffer from reflection or glare yes, yes, yes. and mm -hmm. but let me give you this like it's a very nice uh, fun point okay see the LG OLED yeah. which doesn't have a backlight yes. it's not that much affected by reflecting light because okay. it doesn't have a backlight at the end so you get to experience the true colors as you can see there yes. those berries look yummy so <laughs> they do they actually do yeah they yeah. do so uh, that's another factor light because yes. light will affect okay. your viewing experience and will also uh, get the reflection yes get the reflection and yeah. stuff so one way to one way to counteract that would yeah. be mm -hmm. to check where the light sources are okay. but if you can do that mm -hmm. let me give you also another another interesting fact about like the LG OLED and OLED and the nano cell they have AI like we had covered last last week mm -hmm. so AI helps in identifying the environment mm -hmm. to give you best picture quality so the TV is able to sense the amount of light in the room and then that way it can adjust the picture quality to I mean the content you are watching beautiful <laughs> I, I love this television. So. Uh, that's the second factor which I would make consider, especially in a room. Yeah. The other one is on the sound as, as aesthetics or what we call acoustic. Yes, yeah, so you find like in in kind of acoustic tuning because you see the floor to ceiling ratio. You know there are other houses like you don't know if there are tall people living there, but it's quite expansive. It shows it shows that, and you need. You need your TV to give you good sound quality. And so once you get the TV, mm -hmm. um, one thing is in terms of the output, yes. how is the output of these TVs? Yes. Like uh, once we see the 77 inch OLED, mm -hmm. so the 77 inch OLED actually has 40 watts, mm -hmm. has 40 watts of output. So it is a very, uh, it gives much more immersive sound. Yeah. Like this one has uh, 20 watts of output. And then you find other TVs, they have lower outage. So what you'll find is you'll be increasing your volume yeah. most of the time. Okay. But having good sound output mm -hmm. is good. Mm -hmm. But also, what else does the TV offer mm -hmm. to try and give you best acoustic? Yes. Again, AI comes yeah. there. Artificial mm -hmm. intelligence. Exactly, for the TVs. So... We'll get, we'll show you how this, you can do acoustic tuning in your living room space mm -hmm. or you are, whichever space you are in and the TV will be able to give you best acoustics in, in your space. So you see, picture is catered for, <coughs> sound is catered for. So mm -hmm. in terms of uh, spaces, yes. I would say those are the most important factors to consider on the spaces yes. you have. Now, have you segmented this television to different market segments, you know, with different buyer preferences put in mind, you know, from the university students to the guy who's older? Yes. Uh -huh. Yes, yes, we have, uh, such that you see the um, different clientele. That's why during this campaign, we want also to highlight to other end users that LG is not only giving these TVs to this particular clientele. So we do offer like all clientele. Yeah. So even if it's someone coming out from uni, yeah. they just like Minataka TV Kubwa, Yakucheza PS, you'll get consultation, we'll be told you we have a 55 inch that's fit for you, okay. that's come that comes with this and these specs. Mm -hmm. This is the cost and this is like the payment terms. And another thing during this uh, during this activation, yes. we're giving a very nice discount. So I don't think it would. Anyone who, who anyone who's serious to get a TV yes. uh, during this time, you will get a TV. It's the best time to get. Um, I'm quite sure you. Will what discounts that. are you giving? Uh, we want you to visit the booth. Yeah. So visit the booth where we are. So the booth, uh, like last weekend, we just started off and it was amazing. We had a very nice turnout. Yeah. It was at Sarit Center. So we are still there during the course of this week up to the end of this month so the whole of october these two weeks we are still at Sarit center and then we'll be going to junction and then we'll finally go to the home of champions we'll be finishing in eldoret in yes eldoret. <laughs> huh? yes yes where we'll winners are eldoret. born ah exactly Fisons. and where money yes. is <laughs> uh, so absolutely now guys here's the thing you need to 
honestly like uh, this is not because this has been sponsored by LG but by far this is the best television I have seen world over hands down if you think that's a lie or you think you're not gonna take my word for it why don't you go to the site center or the Junction Mall to have a look at this magnificent television and you'll get William and the team to just guide you to get to get the perfect television for your space i've been your host and this has been most delightful peter and gigi till next time goodbye and ciao